Okay, and we're back. So I've got this thing bottomed out at 0 0.5 PSI. I've got the knob at 1 on the differential indicator. And I'm going to exert a pressure upwards on this lever, this assemblage here. And we should hear a click. And that's turning it off. And when I release the pressure upward, it should return and uh, allow power to flow across these two terminals here. Just a very slight up, down, up, down. And so by bending that tab, I managed to get this thing to work. Um, not recommended. This is a YouTube video after all. You do this on your own risk. Now, let's just say we have the opposite situation where you've bottomed this thing out and it's you, you have to exert a fair amount of pressure upwards to get this to work. You can take your screwdriver and between, put it right there and by a twisting motion, bend this tab up just a little bit and keep, when you bend it, you keep trying it and you keep bending it until you get it to the bleeding edge. The idea is that when you lift up, it should shut the burner off. And then when you release the pressure, it should fire the burner. Now, one thing you also should do is uh, if on a you coming across a unit that is not operating properly, of course, you want to make sure that this is responding to your thumb, or excuse me, finger, your index finger. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all pigtails are clear. This can get clogged with uh, uh, muck and you want to remove this take this off the T here and blow into it. If you don't have that, then you have to, if you don't have this T here and you need to check the uh, pigtail, you need to remove the pressure controller. And um, if it's clogged, you got to remove it and uh, clear it out and put it back. If you put it back, I recommend putting a T or something here so you can access it without disconnecting the pressure troll. Thanks again. I hope this helps and uh, I'll see you on the next one.